Hey guys, I'm DJ Swivel, and today I want to show you how you can create some really cool guitar effect sounds using the sauce in your own songs. So check it out. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can get some really cool guitar tones using the sauce. Uh, so I had my assistant Harry record three guitar tracks for me, uh, and we're going to be messing with the sauce and seeing what we can do on these three different styles of, of uh, guitar performance. Uh, so in the first one, actually what I ended up doing was using the sauce to almost create a bass using an electric guitar. We just use a very standard for many people, uh, Fender Stratocaster. And uh, in this case, we're just playing uh, monophonic notes and uh, I'm using the sauce to make it sound a bit like a bass. So first, let me play you the guitar by itself. So very simple. Now let's hear what it sounds like with the sauce on it. has this very like alternative sounding uh, bass uh, tone to it. Uh, so how do we do it? Oh, well, actually it's very simple. Uh, the first thing we did is we pitched the entire guitar down a full octave. Uh, and we also form and shifted it down a little bit just to make the tone sound a little nicer. Uh, so let's see what that's doing uh, here. see just with that format shifting you can get some really interesting bass tones out of that so you can play with that and see see what that does for you um, on the distortion side on this spice knob we're just doing a little bit of mild harmonic saturation uh, so let's hear what that is doing to the signal Just adds a little bit of aggression uh, and then on the sugar knob we have a bit of the uh, flanger algorithm the sour algorithm uh, let's hear what that's doing so it just does a little bit of modulation I like it in, in moderation there um, on the squeeze algorithm, we're doing a bit of compression uh, using the lighter compression setting uh, called DAB. And let's hear what that does. So in this case, it just controls the signal a little bit. Uh, and then up here on the drip, you'll notice it sounds like there's a uh, almost like a spring reverb or a slap delay going on. And, um, and that is using our simple delay algorithm. And all we've done is I've uh, bumped up the feedback uh, quite high to 67%. Um, the mix is set to about 35%. And uh, the, uh, the tempo of the song is, is 140 or 70 really. Uh, and I've got a 130 second note um, as the delay time. And then I filtered out the top down to 1.37k and filtered out the low uh, up to you know 1.2 uh, hertz so this is basically filtering out a lot of what, what's happening there um, but because the roll off on these is quite light uh, you're getting some some tail uh, uh, you know that separates you know that goes a little bit below 1.1 1 .1, uh, and a little bit above uh, 1.3 so you're just getting this like mid-rangey uh, uh, delay return. So let's hear what this sounds like uh, with the delay. So you get that nice like slap delay sound which is really cool uh, in this case. And then uh, we're doing a bit of spread 
Uh, nothing too crazy, just to give it some uh, some left right um, imaging, uh, some Im image feeling. Uh, and then there's a bit of the the high end filtered out, so everything above you know 4.4 k, uh, and that's how we get like a really unique sounding uh, bass sound using a guitar. Sounds really cool. Uh, let's see what else we've got. On the second guitar track, uh, I went for a more shimmery, um, dreamy guitar sound. Uh, so let's hear what the guitar is doing. Uh, by itself without the sauce. So very simple uh, guitar chords uh, played on one of the higher octaves and uh, sounds really great, but let's hear what we've done with the sauce. Sounds really, really cool. Um, so we have this nice, dreamy, shimmery vibe happening. Well, how do we get it? Uh, the first thing I did was I pitched the guitar up a full octave, did some form and shifting down, and I just mixed in about 25% of that. The next thing I did is I spread the guitar. This is a mono guitar, but I spread it nice and wide. So it's 73% uh, of the width that we can do. Uh, and that gives it a nice, like, uh, stereo image um, so you don't have to double it up you can just record one guitar and you can throw the spread on there and then what's really giving it that shimmery feel is this sugar knob on this sweet algorithm is our chorus and it's doing a lot of really cool stuff so let me run through these effects we also have some compression some uh, reverb and some delay but I'm gonna run through all the effects so first uh, let's see what the pitch is doing <laughs> So it's just adding these nice harmonic overtones, which I really, really like. All right, so the second thing I did, like I said, was the chorus. So let's see what the chorus is doing. Really cool, nice and buttery and shimmery. It gives some nice stereo image. Uh, and then, of course, we have the stereo imaging algorithm, which also enhances that. Let's see what this is doing. I like that. Really, really cool. Okay, so we're doing a bit of taming with the compressor. Let's see what that does. just tightens up the signal a bit uh, and then we've got a bit of reverb and delay so let's start with the delay and see what we've got going on here so similar to the previous track I think we're getting a, a bit of uh, it's a little too loud on the output so let me pull that dial that back um, but similar to the previous track, we've got this nice 30 second note uh, slap delay thing happening, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, and then we added some reverb and I use a small room for this, uh, not to wash it out too much. Let's hear what that does. <laughs> So this to me reminds me of like a like an Andre 3000 guitar sound or or even like a Frank Ocean guitar sound like this very buttery shimmery uh, you know really cool uh, almost R and B sound uh, so I really really love that now let's see the third way that we are using the sauce to process these guitars so let's go to track number three and what do we have going on here 
All right, well, first, let me play the guitar by itself without the sauce, and then I'll add the sauce, and let's see what we did. So it's this nice, cool, bluesy uh, uh, guitar uh, take, and let's see what the sauce did. Almost like a 70s sounding blues uh, rock guitar. Uh, so what have we done? Well, we've uh, first we're in multi-band mode, so we're doing a couple different things here. On the low band, uh, we've pitched it up an octave, and we form it shifted it down, uh, and we've got it nice and spread, spread nice and wide. Um, now we filtered out some of the low end here, so everything below 139 hertz. Uh, so we're not going to get any too much low end muddiness there. Uh, but we've got this low low band uh, spread out. There's also some delay. Again, I keep going to this 30 second note delay. I don't know why, I just really like it. Um, there's a large hall reverb, just a little bit of it, and some compression. So let's listen to just the low band. <laughs> So we had this set to 100, might even be cool lower, uh, but that gives these nice low frequency harmonics that are that sound really, really nice. Uh, let's see what the mid band is doing. So the mid band, the spread is a little bit uh, more narrow. Uh, we're not doing any pitch performance shifting at all. Uh, we have a bit of mild saturation and a flanger. So let's hear that. band. Little uh, format shifting down, a wider spread, uh, and even more of the flanger. Uh, and the compression is, you know, jacked all the way up to the top. So let's see what this is doing. Really cool. I think this compressor we've got all the way at the top uh, to, to make those uh, slaps on the, on the guitar strings really poke out and be very transient. Uh, so let's have a listen to that. That's really nice, makes those stand out. Uh, and then again, we have that 30 second note uh, delay, which is, I believe, the same across the board. Yes, it is. And there you have it. Those are just a few of the ways that you can create some really cool, unique sounding guitar sounds using the sauce. But I wanna hear from you guys. Tag me on Instagram, at DJ Swivel, and send me videos of how you're using the sauce to create some unique sounds. I'll be reposting every single video. For now, like and subscribe, comment below, Hit the notification button. Until next time, peace.